Hello, welcome to another module in this online course strategy and introduction to game theory. In the previous module, we have looked at an interesting game uh, which was titled The Tragedy of Commons. Let us continue our discussion on this game that is The Tragedy of Commons. And we had seen the following things that there are two timber agencies which are involved in logging the trees in a particular forest and the payoff to each of them that is u1 of e1 comma e2 was given as e1 into 1 minus e1 plus e2 and u2 was of e2 comma e1 was given as e2 into 1 minus e1 plus e2 right and we had analyzed this game and we found the nash equilibrium effort of this game well we found the nash equilibrium of this game as e1 star equals e2 star equals 1 by 3 and the nash payoff u1 of e1 star comma e2 star equals u2 of e2 star comma e1 star equals 1 by 9. So, this is the Nash payoff. What we want to do now is want to analyze this game in a slightly different way and try to see if there is another possibility or if there is another outcome which yields a higher payoff for both the players. right? So, we want to see is there another outcome, we want to answer this question is this the best possible outcome or is there another outcome which yields a higher payoff to which yields is there another outcome which yields a higher payoff to both the players well to characterize this, let us try to look at a situation a scenario in which both these agencies collaborate. Let us say both these agencies collaborate to maximize their sum payoff. So, we have u1 of e1 comma e2 and u2 of e2 comma e1. So, let us look at the joint utility e1 comma e2 plus u2 of e2 comma e1 which we are saying is the joint payoff or the sum payoff. So, let us say these two agencies decide to collaborate and try to improve their joint payoff. Well, what we have is therefore, u 1 of e 1 plus e 2, e 1 comma e 2 plus u 2 of e 2 comma e 1 which is e 1 into 1 minus e 1 plus e 2 plus e 2 into 1 minus e 1 plus e 2 which can be further simplified as you can see e 1 plus e 2 into 1 minus e 1 plus e 2 right. So, the joint so the net payoff u 1 plus u 2 is given as the net payoff net payoff or the total payoff is given as e 1 plus e 2 into 1 minus e 1 plus e 2. You can see that this depends only on e 1 plus e 2. So, if I denote e 1 plus e 2 by e t that is the total payoff. Now, I can write the net payoff as e t into 1 minus e t because the total payoff the sum payoff depends only on e 1 plus e 2 which is the sum effort or the joint effort put in by both these timber agencies. Therefore, I can write the net payoff the payoff of the sum payoff of both these timber agencies as e t into 1 minus e t and I can denote this as u t of e t 
where T denotes the total payoff. And E T equals E 1 plus E 2 denotes the So, I am looking at the total payoff which depends on the total effort by T. So, we are considering a scenario where these two different agencies or companies are collaborating to maximize their some utility or some profit or some payoff which can be represented by U T of E T. U T of E T equals E T into 1 minus E T which is basically expanded as E T minus E T square. Now, if I have to maximize the sum payoff, to maximize the sum payoff u t, I have to differentiate u t with respect to e t. To maximize this, to maximize sum payoff, differentiate u t with respect to E t, I can now differentiate u t with respect to E t and set it equal to 0 to find the value of E t to find the value of the total effort E t, where this total payoff to both these timber agencies who are now collaborating or hypothetically collaborating is maximum. I then have d of u t divided by d e t equals d by d e t of E t minus E t square equals 1 minus twice E t, which I have to set equal to 0, which means E t star, which is the effort, the best response total effort, I should not call it the best response, which is the optimal total effort, where the sum payoff is maximized is E t star equals half. So, what we have achieved so far is that we have found that sum effort E t star, which is in fact E 1 plus E 2, where the total payoff to both of them is maximized. So, we have E t star equals E 1 plus E 2 equals half. Let us now set E 1 equals E 2, a simple scenario that is where each of them is putting equal effort into the total effort, which is fair and probably acceptable to both of them. So, we set E 1 equals 1 by 4, E 2 equals 1 by 4. So, if we set E 1 equals 1 by 4, E 2 equals 1 by 4, the total effort is E t equal to half, at which point the total payoff that is U t is maximized. And what is the payoff of each at this point? If you look at the payoff of each at this point, that is E 1 equal to 1 by 4, E 2 equal to 1 by 4 u 1 of e 1 comma e 2 equals u 1 of 1 by 4 comma 1 by 4 equals 1 by 4 into 1 minus e 1 plus e 2 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4, which is equal to 1 by 4 into half, which is equal to 1 by 8. You can clearly see this 1 by 8 is greater than 1 by 9, which is the Nash payoff. Remember u 1 u 1 of u 1 of e 1 star comma e 2 star. That is in this when both of them are trying to maximize their net payoff, u 1 that is the agency 1 is getting a payoff of 1 by 8. Similarly, you can calculate the payoff of u 2 at this point 1 by 4 comma 1 by 4, you will find that is again equal to 1 by 4 into half, which is equal to 1 by 8. So, in this scenario or in this outcome, where both of them are using effort E 1 equals E 2 equals 1 by 4, both of them are able to receive a higher payoff, which is 1 by 8. Right? And what does this tell us? This term tells us something interesting. There is another outcome in which both of them receive a higher payoff compared to the payoff at the Nash equilibrium, right? because the payoff of when both of them are using an effort of 1 by 4, the payoff of to both of them is 1 by 8, whereas at the Nash equilibrium, the payoff to both of them is only 1 by 9. 
right. So, there is another outcome where both of them can simultaneously improve their payoff. Therefore, the Nash equilibrium is not Pareto optimal. Therefore, therefore, Nash equilibrium is not Pareto optimal, which is an interesting observation. So, this has one Nash equilibrium E 1 star equal to E 2 star equals 1 by 3 and the Nash payoff is 1 by 9. However, when E 1 equal to E 2 equal to 1 by 4 in that outcome both are receiving a higher payoff which is 1 by 8. Therefore, since both of them can simultaneously improve their payoff, the Nash equilibrium is not Pareto optimal in that this game is similar to the prisoner's dilemma. similar to PD, which is our acronym for the prisoner's dilemma. Therefore, now we have an interesting example of a game and that also explains the term the tragedy of the commons. Because both of them the optimal effort, the one that yields a higher a good a higher payoff for both of them is E 1 equal to E 2 equal to 1 by 4. But instead each is using an effort E 1 equal to E 2 equals 1 by 3, which is greater than the effort 1 by 4 thereby both of them are leading to a faster depletion of the resource eventually leading to a lower utility right because each of them at nash equilibrium any each is using an effort e1 star equals e2 star equals 1 by 3, which is greater than the optimal effort or the Pareto optimal effort E 1 equals E 2 equals 1 by 4 and that this effort the Nash equilibrium effort the payoff is lower, each is using, each is cutting more trees by using more effort that is 1 by 3, which is more than the optimal effort 1 by 4. This is leading to a faster depletion of the resources. The Nash equilibrium, Nash effort N E leads to faster depletion of of the common resource. In this case, the common resource is a forest using more effort at the Nash equilibrium leads to a faster depletion of the common resource and that is the tragedy of commons. This is termed as the tragedy of So, to summarize what is the tragedy of the commons? We have looked at the strategic interaction with this between these multiple agents which are trying to use a common resource such as a forest. And although there is an optimal outcome at the Nash equilibrium, each one is using more effort than is required, which is leading to a faster depletion of the common resource leading to a lower leading eventually leading to a lower utility or a lower payoff to all the stakeholders or all the population and that is the that is the tragedy of common sense this leads to a faster depletion of resources and lower utility lower payoff to all the players and this is termed as the tragedy of the commons and in fact this can be used to model not only the depletion of common resource such as forest but as i indicated in the previous module it can be used to model the depletion of any common resource such as fisheries or pollution of the environment or pasture lands or mines over exploitation of mines over mining and so on and so forth. So, this is an interesting example a simple example which tells us that because of this game or the strategic interaction between these multiple players who are using an or who are supposed to use a resource instead because of this game or the strategic interaction they are over exploiting that resource eventually leading to a poor payoff eventually leading 
to a worse payoff for all the stakeholders or all the players. This is known as the tragedy of commons and can be modeled, used to model several resources, uh, several scenarios uh, in real life which uh, uh, lead to depletion of natural resources. So what is the solution in this scenario? The solution is naturally to impose a regulatory framework. So the solution is to impose impose a regulatory framework to curb over exploitation of any particular resource such as to curb over mining or over fishing or over cutting of trees in a forest to allow for possible regeneration and replenishment of the natural resource and usage of these natural resource in an efficient and an optimal fashion in such a way as is beneficial to everyone involved. So this is an important game and important game and tells us what happens when a resource is uh, over, ex, uh, over exploited and so on. And the Nash equilibrium provides us uh, or game theory provides us an interesting framework to, such, uh, to study such an interaction and a behavior of such uh, behavior of multiple competing agents uh, in such a scenario. So with this we will end this module and uh, we will look at other games in the upcoming modules. Thank you.